welcome to Festival of a Girl 2020. My name is Priya O'Shea. I'm a baker and a writer and a mum of two boys. And today I'm going to show you how to make one of our favourite family recipes. They are double chocolate chip muffins. They're so good, really impressive and really, really simple and quick to make. So you can get them in and out and all washed up within like 45 minutes, which is why they're great and we make them all the time. So I'm going to talk you through some of the things that we need for our recipe today. We're gonna do it all in one big bowl, which is nice, nice and easy. A whisk, just to mix up some of the ingredients. And I'm gonna use a scoop to scoop out my mixture into my muffin cases, but you don't have to. You can just use a really big spoon or a tablespoon is fine, really. So in our muffins, oh, and I've also got a muffin tray here and I've got some paper cases. We're gonna make eight big muffins. Um, if you've got small cases, you could probably make 10 or, or 12, depending on the size of the paper cases you've got. So, I'm going to talk you through the ingredients that we need for our muffin recipe. It's really simple and hopefully you'll have most of it at home. Um, so, to start, we need some plain flour and I've got some baking powder there. If you haven't got plain flour and you've just got self-raising, that's fine. You can use self-raising flour and add about a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. This is plain flour here and I've got a tablespoon of baking powder there. I've got a mix of sugars here. So I've got some caster sugar here and I've got some soft brown sugar. So brown sugar in bakes adds a bit of moisture. So if you've got cookies and you use a bit of brown sugar in them, that's what gives you that chewy kind of texture. And in the muffins, it keeps them nice and moist. So that's why I'm using a mix of the two. If you can't get hold of brown sugar, don't worry. You can just use caster sugar. Um, but if you can get some brown sugar or even if it's demerara sugar and it's not quite this soft brown sugar, that's fine. That'll do and it'll still be really, really lovely. We've got some chocolate chips here that are going to go inside our muffin and they're going to go on top of the muffin as well. I mean, my milk chocolate chips were already um, chips from the bag. Um, the white chocolate I used was in a block, so I just cut that up into little pieces. And I'm using a mix of the two just because I have the two of them. If you haven't got them both or you prefer one over the other, that's fine. We've got some cocoa powder here. Um, I've got 30 grams of cocoa powder. And... We've got two eggs. I'm using two large eggs for this recipe. And then for our liquids, we've got a mixture of oil and milk. So it's quite a thick mixture, which is why we need the milk in there to loosen it up. And the oil makes it really nice and soft. I'm using sunflower oil, but you can use any vegetable oil. Um, preferably not olive oil. Olive oil has got quite a strong taste to it. But if you use um, just plain vegetable oil, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil, they'll be fine. They don't have a lot of flavour. Um, to them so they're nice to use in baking. So this is a really good recipe to use because you don't really need a lot of equipment. Um, sometimes I make it in my mixer but if you haven't got a mixer um, a bowl is just as good. So first thing we're going to do is tip all of our dry ingredients into it. Well I say all, we're going to hold on some of the chocolate chips. So that's my plain flour and baking powder going into the bowl there. With a lot of cake recipes, you sift the ingredients together. I'm not going to sift them because it makes a mess and I can't always bother to do it. So I'm going to use this whisk to mix them up once I've got them all in the bowl. So plain flour, baking powder in there. My sugars are all going in. Then I'm going to add my cocoa powder in as well. And then I'm going to give that a really good mix with my whisk. So this is I suppose the equivalent to um, sifting it but I do find sifting it makes a mess and you don't really need to do it so Just give it a really good mix and if you give the bowl a bit of a shake it will bring any of the lumps up to the top so either tap it on your work surface or just give it a little shake like that and I've got a few clumps of cocoa there so I'm just going to keep going, just to loosen them up a bit. Okay. Right, I think that's good enough. Now, before I do the rest of it, I'm going to preheat the oven, because um, actually there's not too much that needs to go on here and you want the oven to be nice and ready for when the muffins go in. So I'm putting the oven on to 190. I've got a fan oven. If you haven't got a fan oven, it might you, you might need to adjust the timing and it might be a little bit lower. So I'm gonna put that on now. Okay. 
And with my bakes, I tend to bake them in the middle oven, uh, in the middle shelf of the oven. So if you need to adjust the trays around, do that. I do that because it gives them a nice even bake. And I also turn the bakes around um, halfway through the baking as well. So when you've got lots of trays in your oven or you've got things, you find things right at the top will obviously bake quicker and um, can burn a bit quicker. And things at the bottom need a bit more time. So I like to put them in the oven, lots of space for the air to go around them and it gives them a nice even bake. So while the oven's preheating, we've got our dry mixture here and we can go ahead and pour in all of our wet ingredients. So I've got my milk and my oil there. And I did just remember another ingredient that I usually add at this point and that's vanilla. So let me get a hold of that. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna give that a little mix, not too much. You don't need to worry too much about it because we're gonna put our eggs in there in a minute. And I'm using two large eggs. There we go. I often bake with my kids and this is their favorite bit is cracking eggs, they love it. Right, so they go straight into the mixture. I'm gonna wipe my hands. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our chocolate chips and then we're gonna mix it all together. So with the muffin mixture, you just need to mix it until you've got no flour um, and any sort of dry of the ingredient, uh, ingredients left. Unlike cake mixtures where you're really beating them for quite a while, you don't need to beat a, a muffin mixture. Um, you just need to mix it enough till it all comes together. So I'm going to put in my chocolate chips. I'm not going to put all of them in. I'm going to put in about uh, about two thirds, and I'm going to leave a little to sprinkle on the top. So put them in there. There we go. Right, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of mixing. I'm going to tiptoe so you can get it in, just to bring it together. Obviously, to break up my eggs. And it's a really lumpy mixture, but that's fine. Um, muffin mixtures are always a bit lumpy and that's okay. So that's actually nearly done. I've mixed in my egg, that's nice, blended in. And I'm just gonna dig right down to the bottom just to make sure I've got no sneaky trails of flour at the bottom. And then that's kind of enough, actually. You don't need to do any more than that. So it's still really lumpy and that's okay. It's gonna look lumpy anyway with the chocolate chips in it, but you don't want to over mix it. So just make sure you've got no flour, really scrape around the sides and the bottom of the bowl. And when you're happy with that, it's good to go into the cases. So take off that chocolate because we want all of that in our muffins. Now, I use um, an ice cream scoop for, I use this when I'm making cupcakes um, and I use it with muffins as well because it's a really nice, simple way of getting an equal measure into each one. If you've got one of these, it's great. They can be really handy for bakes, but if you haven't, don't worry about it. Just use uh, a couple of spoons and spoon the mixture in. So I think I'm gonna have about maybe one and a half scoops in each one. Oh, okay. So if you've got smaller cases, you might make more. I've got these really big paper cases, so I think I'm gonna get about eight muffins, but we'll see. You want to fill them so they're about two thirds full because um, you want to give them space to rise. There we go. I've made this um, muffin recipe quite a lot over, over lockdown because it's really quick and easy. It's something that my little boys can get involved in and I don't need to get my big mixer out. I can do it all with one big bowl. Right, 
So that is about, yeah, I've got about one and a half in there, I think. If you like coffee flavoured cakes, I've also made a chocolate or coffee version of these. So instead of the vanilla, um, when I added my dry ingredients in, I put a little bit of um, coffee, coffee granules in there, and that gave them a really nice flavour. And if you like nuts as well, then you can always sprinkle a few nuts on top as well. There we go. So you know, I think I'm going to get one more case because I think I can get one more out of that. So make sure you scrape out all of the mixture. Okay. Right, that might be a little one, but at least we're using it all up. That's all my mixture gone. So now, See there. I'm going to use some of the chocolate chips that we've got left and just sprinkle them over the top. And they might sink into the mixture a little bit, that's totally fine. There so if you were going to use some, some nuts, you can sprinkle them on now. think yeah that looks good there we go you just just about see them maybe um so they're good to go in the oven now i'm going to put them in for 22 minutes i know it sounds really specific i've made these quite a few times so i know in my event they take about 22 minutes I'm going to spin them over, spin them over, that might be weird. Um, I'm going to turn the tray over halfway through and that's just to make sure that they bake really evenly. So in my oven, for example, um, the bakes on this side at the back always cook first. That's a bit of a hot spot that we've got in our oven. So I always rotate the tray around halfway through so they get a nice even bake all over. Um, but yeah, they'll take about 22 minutes. I'm going to check them at about 20 minutes to so just make sure they're looking okay. And, and then see if I need to give them a little bit more time. And they're going in the middle shelf. There you go, so. There we go. Got my timer for 22 minutes, but I'm gonna make sure I check on them halfway around just to give them a little um, turn around in the oven. Great, we'll see what they look like in a few minutes. So my time has just gone off. I did all the cleaning up while they were in the oven for those 20 minutes. So the kitchen's all nice and clean. Um, I'm gonna get the muffins out. I've got a cooling rack here. So I'm gonna just put that out so I can put the muffins out onto that. And we'll have a look at them. They might need a bit more time because I can see some of them still look a little bit moist on top. So what I'm gonna do quickly is, I've got a skewer here. You can use a cocktail stick or, I mean, this is just a barbecue skewer, but it's the one I always keep in my cupboard for baking. So I'm gonna dip this in and when it comes out, if you can see, there's still a little bit of mixture on there. Now, if the muffins were cooked perfectly, that would come out clean. So as it's not, and there's a bit of mixture in there, that tells me that the muffin mixture is still a little bit moist inside or a bit gooey. So I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about three minutes and then I'm gonna have another look at them. But they've risen really well, so they look good, but they need a little bit more time. So, I'm gonna set my oven. Woo! Gonna set my oven for another three minutes and then check them again. I'm gonna wipe that off so that I've got a nice clean skewer for when I wanna check the muffins again. 
my time has just gone off, so I'm going to check the muffins again and hopefully they'll be done this time. So I've got my skewer, which I've cleaned. So that is perfect. I'm just gonna check another one. Ooh. Right, that one has got some stuff on it, but I can see that it's the chocolate because it's just come through a chocolate chip. So that's the other thing you've gotta be really careful of because we've got loads of chocolate chips. They're obviously gonna be really melted. When you put it in, have a look at what comes out. So if you've got a smear of chocolate and you can't see any cake crumbs or any clumps, then you're probably fine um, like I had that time. There we go. So these are super hot, and as much as I really want to eat them, I can't eat them yet. So I'm going to leave these in the tin for a couple of minutes because they're really, really hot to hold, and then I'm going to lift them out and put them on a cooling rack. If you've got paper cases like mine, they're really easy. You can um, pick them up by the corners, but if you're using smaller cases, then you're gonna, you want to give them a few minutes before you touch them just so you don't burn your fingers. I'm gonna move that out of the way so I've got space on my cooling rack for them. And then in about five minutes, I can take them out and leave them to cool properly. And there we go. My, uh, my muffins are out of the oven and they're ready to eat. So that's what they look like. And they are really lovely and light. They're really delicious to treat and we love them in our family. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you give the muffins a go. They are really simple. All your dry ingredients in a bowl, mix them up, Add your wet ingredients in there. That's pretty much it. Mix it up, put your chocolate chips in and put them in the oven. So they're really simple, really tasty, and they're very impressive when you have friends coming over. So I hope you like them and um, you can add in comments to the video below. And if you want to upload any pictures, it'd be great to see some of your bakes, then you can use your um, parents' social media and use the hashtag Festival of the Girl 2020 um, or the hashtag Future is Hers. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the muffins and I hope you enjoy the video. Happy baking! I'm going to eat one of these now. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a good muffin. Very good. Very good. See you.